Hello and welcome to the Kali Linux uh, video installation guide for the Proxmark 3 RDV4. So here you'll see our installation guide. Um, there are some things to note with regards to the installation instructions. Um, it's quite quick and simple. Um, please note that there is a need to remove the modem manager, which we'll get into a bit later. So first up, what we're going to need to do is to do an app get update. And what I will say here is that if you do need to upgrade your distro, please do it prior to continuing with the installation, um, as you may find that you need to reinstall if you do that. OK, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the requirements needed. and um, you can just copy and paste these in. That was quite quick for me because I've already been through the process already and have uh, downloaded everything I need. Uh, it will take you probably about a minute or so to do it yourself. Next thing I want to do is to clone the GitHub fork for the RFID research group. Just paste that in there. And uh, what this will do, it will actually create a folder um, within our directory. As you can see, it's Proxmark 3. And what we're going to need to do is, once that's all completed, downloading, um, is to then change into that directory. <coughs> and we can do that by typing in cd Proxmark 3. Okay, so now we're in directory, what we want to do is a git pull, and it should say we're already up to it today. And now we're on to removing the modem manager. So um, this can cause some problems with the Proxmark disconnecting and issues with the flashing. Um, I've already removed mine, but you should come up with a query where it asks you yes or no, press yes, and then what you will want to do after that is to restart your system. So you log back in and carry on with the next part, which will be making clean and make all. I want to paste that back in. So this takes about a minute or so, or probably a couple of minutes sometimes, depending on your system. And what I've done here, I've paused the video and let it go through. And we're going to want to check the connection to the actual Proxmark itself. And the way to do that is by using the um, dmessage command. And as you can see there, it's come up with the Proxmark 3. You can see it there as a CDC device. Next thing we want to do is copy and paste the command for flashing the B-ROM image. It takes a couple of seconds and it picks up and uh, but if you do get any problems during this process please do head over to the Proxmark um, forums. Uh, Google is your friend also. The Proxmark forums is rather extensive and there's lots of questions where people have had and been able to get answered. Um, hopefully in the future we can have some videos to help out any issues but for the moment um, that has all worked quite nicely and it has worked great. So we're going to change into the client folder. And then we're going to run the client itself. And it should appear as TTY AM, ACMO as your device. So here I am changing into the client directory, copy and paste the command, and this will bring up the Proxmark client. Excellent. So you've got some information there. And a good way to test everything is to run the command hardware tune. And then this will bring up a graph measuring the antenna characteristics for you. And there are other commands that you can use. And uh, 
make sure that you do take a look at the GitHub repo, uh, just checking out the commands that can be done. Um, hopefully in the future we can work on making some videos on the usage itself. But for the meantime, um, I hope you have fun with the Proxmark and uh, good luck. Alright, thank you very much.